Bienvenidos sean todos ustedes una vez más. Estamos reunidos los mosquitos perros y vamos a continuar con las montañas de la locura. Comentarles eso sí, pequeña nota al margen que nota al margen que este juego no te guarda la, las opciones de audio cada vez que se lo bajo. El juego y vuelvo a entrar lo tiene a tope. Pequeño detalle por si pudiera ser de interés para alguien. ¿Qué habíamos quedado nosotros? Ah, nos habían dado la dirección. Susi, Susi algo nos había dado la dirección por fin la huevona. Más lo que costó que soltara el, la información. Ya tenemos la información de Melvin. No creo que necesitemos nada más. Pensé que me estoy sirviendo una Pepsi. Ya, yo creo que tenemos que ir a, a la editorial. Ahí está. Recordar que está el barrio pobre todavía, donde no podíamos tocar nada. Así que... My poor brother. Can't stop thinking about him. Maybe if I just go home for the night. Hey, what? Take some time to reflect on all this. Ahora por fin se le ve un poquito afectado. Yo pensé como que le había dado lo mismo. <coughs> Shit. Fortunately, he never had time to turn around before all life left his body. A masterpiece, if I do say so myself. I wonder if Howard has the time to take a look at it. Howard? Howard feeling Lovecraft? Come in. Hi there. I'm Lone Carter, private investigator. Uh, pleasure to meet you, Lone. How did you find me? <coughs> <coughs> Dr. Armitage told me how to get in touch with you. He said you could shed some light on certain things that have happened to me. That depends. What are we talking about? But please, go on. And call me William. Okay, William. I was hired by Armitage himself. I see. Come in. Don't just stand there in the doorway. Ya pasó por si acaso. So. Se cagó Armitage. A bunch of really bizarre stuff went down in Innsmouth. But there's one last thing I just can't come to grips with. Go on. I was attacked by a seething mass with thousands of eyes and teeth. A shaga? Hmm. So it's all true. They actually exist. Yeah, tone down the enthusiasm, please. It wasn't exactly a party on my end. I'm sorry. I'm a scholar of the occult, and any information, however horrible for most, arouses my curiosity. Go on, please. I remember waking up, barely alive, missing an arm and a leg, and I passed out. When I woke up, I felt perfectly fine, and my missing limbs were back. Amazing. Lone, I wish to perform a small experiment on you. Shit. Will you permit me? Ow. What the hell was that for? Uh. I'm testing a theory, which is confirmed, it seems. Look at your arm. It's already healed. Without even a scar. You must have escaped the embrace of that unearthly creature by mere chance. It was literally consuming you, but apparently some of its cells invaded your body, and they now seem to repair any physical damage you take. I don't know what the long-term implications are. Am I infected? It seems you're practically immortal. Amazing. I might not know much, but this seems unlikely to end well. Is there anything you can do to help me? Se lo tomó bastante tranquilo. But do you really want me to? With such power? You could make a real difference. I'm not interested in being some kind of hero. Besides, we have no idea how this thing might further evolve. If I were to turn into one of those things here in the city... You've actually got a point. Loan, do you know Professor Wilmarth? Yes. He hired me for an extremely strange case. And not as strange as all Wilmarth. this. Wilmarth. Talking to him could prove valuable indeed. His knowledge in this field is vast. Sounds like a plan. How can we get in touch with him? I have his address. I'll write him a letter explaining the situation, with your permission, of course. Good. Let's meet at Miskatonic with Armitage in three days' time. Good day, William. Pero Armitage cagó. <coughs> I really gotta go grab some shut eye. Then I'll have a think about who left this letter for me. Returning to the crime scene might be a good idea. Hopefully, I can investigate unimpeded next time. Okay.
damn small time detective. I hope I won't regret asking for help from that miserable creature. Ayuda a la criatura, what? Damos puente a cliquea. Uh... I got nothing to ask him about. Supongo que toca ir a la escena del crimen en los barrios pobres. Probably the lair. I certainly won't be putting my hand in there. A ver. There's a pen here as well. I'll just grab them both. Saqueando la escena del crimen. I can't close that from here. It's stuck. A strange mechanism to block out the sun. It moves that panel over the window. It's stuck. Okay. Doesn't look very useful. It looks like they cleaned up the room. A strange mechanism moves that panel. It's stuck. A ver. Inspecciona. Yeah, I can say this isn't. I can't close. Quite make. There are also some. There. Now it should work properly. Muy bien. Hay que hay que hacer los dos clic. El de eh, hacer acción y el de inspeccionar. I can't see anything. I should probably reopen the window before stumbling around and hurting myself. Eso era lo que quería ver. I don't want to touch that. Sends a shiver up my Inspecciona. Victim's blood was weird. Es lo mismo que sabíamos. Y de acá teníamos la viga. Weird symbol, visible only in the dark, drawn with who knows what. And more to the point, who knows what it means. I can't take it. Weird symbol, drawn with and more to the point. Ok. Weird symbol drawn with and more to the point. Ya, pues, pero copia la wea. Yeah, I should be able to jot it down Eso. this way. For whatever that's worth. Es importantísimo ese símbolo. De ahí le agarramos la vista al culto. William, William, William. William Blanco. El escritor. Eh, escritor. Estoy anotando en mi hojita para no perderme. Ok. Vamos a la universidad donde se supone que nos tenemos que uh. The gardener's toolbox. I can't open it. It's locked. <laughs> you still got it, Lone. Although Lockpicks broke. There's a shovel in here. I'll grab it. Perfect. <laughs> Julio Ladrón. Your toolbox can withstand the likes of. <laughs> bueno. I already took what. Hi guys. Hi yeah. What can we do for you? Until next. Time. Good day. Podría preguntarle por Armitage, pero creo que me van a decir lo mismo que está dentro. Pero él algo le hicieron. No, Carter. How may I be of assistance? I'm here to see Armitage. He is not here. I do not know when he will be back. Thanks anyway. So, 
I'm sorry he should be here. I don't know why he's not. It's strange. He's always very punctual. I see. So pictures. Uh, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, echar un vistazo a la biblioteca. I'm sorry, I can't let you in without Armitage's permission. You're right. Fuck. Excuse me. Fuck. Necesito información. Hi guys. Hiya. What can we do for you? Have you seen Armitage by any chance? We haven't seen him since yesterday. Strange. He's almost always here at the university. Gotcha. Thanks. Until next time. Good day. Bueno, acá no está, eso está claro. Y ya tengo lo que necesitaba del barrio pobre. Tal vez ir a la casa de Blanco. De William Blanco. I'd like to ask you about something. Sure. I'm helping a friend out with a case. It looks like a ritual murder. I copied this symbol from the door there. Interesting. It's been a long time since I've seen it. So you recognize it? Yes, but it shouldn't be there. Tell me everything you know about it. Sit. I'll recount a story for you. You'll probably have some trouble believing it. Given what I've gone through, I highly doubt that. I am a student of the occult, as you may have heard. What I'm about to tell you, however, does not come from mere book study. As you may know, Arkham, much like Salem, is a city of mysteries. Here, okay. over the centuries, many have acted in ways that I would describe as interesting. We don't have to delve that far back into antiquity, though. I've lived here all my life. I've never heard of any obscure ancient claptrap. Well, that's only to be expected, Lone. The people involved in all this keep as low a profile as possible. I only learned of it because my old Miskatonic colleague, Daniel Upton, Daniel had the misfortune Upton. of getting caught up in the whole affair. I see. He asked for my help, but his request arrived too late. I received this telegram from him. William, I need your help. Stop. I have confirmed that dissidents exist. Stop. The dissident? Found one. Stop. Ephraim waits. Stop. Ephraim. Dissidents. Dissident. Lord, I must impress upon you that Daniel and I, through our studies, came across this term more than once. There seems to be an extensive organization operating in the shadows and harboring secret knowledge to which only its members have access. That symbol. That symbol belongs to the late Ephraim Waite. That is what I managed to learn from the only comprehensible mutterings from what once had been my dear friend, Daniel Upton. Yeah, Daniel Upton está marcado. What happened to Upton? As I told you, I didn't make it in time. All I know is that he went mad and killed a friend of his. I don't know who that friend was. We had been out of touch for some time. He is now locked up in an asylum, but is no longer the dead. murió. Están cerrando un manicomio. What else can you tell me about Ephraim Waits? He must have been a very powerful magician if he was actually affiliated with these dissidents. My subsequent research led nowhere. This led me to think that my friend's mental health was indeed compromised. Until now. Then you showed me that symbol. Hmm. But why involve me? I have to look into this further. It would be best to gather information about this weight person. The municipal archive would be a good starting point. A friend of mine manages it. Meet him? If you want to try, go ahead. I'll contact the clinic and ask them to let you in. The nurse and I go way back. We are well acquainted. If you mm -hmm. right I caught it. I caught it, William. See you later, William. See you later. I wish I could go with you, but I have a pressing deadline bearing down on me. Don't worry. I can handle things for now. Okay, o sea, podemos ir a visitarlo. Al manicomio. Eh. Oh, y tenemos que ir a buscar al profesor Wilmart. Hospital psiquiátrico y el archivo. Mm. 
Vamos al archivo primero, para tener más información antes de ir a preguntarle al loco. Gritando. Was he originally from Arkham? I'll have to go look that up. In the meantime, you may browse the shelves at your leisure. ¿Qué? ¿Lo pilló? He was a native of Innsmouth. Innsmouth. Sospechoso. Did he have any family? I'll have to go look that up. In the meantime, you may browse the shelves at your leisure. Looks like collections I need a date. Maybe the Ark. Ah, here it is. <laughs> He had one daughter by the name of Asimuth. They lived together. I don't know any more than that. Asimuth. Yeah. Hija. Perfecto. Where did he and his daughter live? I'll have to go look that up. In the meantime, you may browse the shelves at your leisure. <laughs> oh, yeah, and there are. There are many construction documents, such as floor plans and blueprints. There's nothing I know of to look up here at the moment. There's nothing I know. Of. There's nothing I. Countless books and documents about the history of Arkham. Are also obituaries filed by year. Necrológica, chaval, por año. I need to pare down the list. There's way too much material here. Ah, here it is. It's still a fecha. His last known residence was 27 Regent Street. 7 Regent Street. Okay. Tenemos anotado esto. Esto va al lado de la hija. ¿Dónde era? ¿Cómo se llama su hija? ¿Dónde vivían? Ya, hablemos de otra cosa. It's rather difficult to find information without details. The only thing I might be able to do is look up his name. Wait. In the meantime, you may browse the shelves at your leisure. I need a date. There's way maybe the archive. I need a date. Maybe I need to pair. There's way too much. A ver. Daniel Upton. Veamos el tema del asesinato. Él debió haber matado a Wayne. 
but Upton has been in a mental hospital since 1915. Here you go, man. Did he have any family? Wait. In the meantime, you may browse the shelves at your leisure. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> There's a news article here concerning the murder of a certain ED by someone identified only as DU. Could this be the connection between them? And there's a news article here concerning them. Could this be the? I need to pare down the letters. Ah, here it is. Pero es Efraín Wayne. No es EU. Es... He had a wife and son, but they no longer reside in Arkham. But Upton has been in a mental hospital since 1915. Eso ya lo Anything else on Upton? I'm sorry, Sonny. I know nothing else about that. I'll take a look at the archives. You can find everything you need to know about beehives on the shelves to your right. Okay. Okay. No, no hay mucho más por acá. Al menos no con la información que tengo. A ver. La dirección donde vivía la hija. Appears the house was demolished in 1917 to build a department store. Well, I guess today I won't risk being arrested for trespassing. I'd imagine it was torn down after he died. It would be better if I asked the archivist lady about it. A ver. I need more information on Ephraim Waits. What do you want to know? Could you tell me when he died? I'll have to go look that up. In the meantime, you may have no been dijo cuando había muerto. It appears the house was demolished. Ya fue demolido en 1917, eso lo sabemos. Y aquí voy a poder buscar en la necrológica. I need a date. Maybe the arc There's a news article here concerning the murder ED of por de identificar de ED era, no era Wayne them? I need to pair this wait October 28th 1915 5 years ago es el poem. Eh. I'll come back later. What? See you later. You too, Sonny. <laughs> La necrológica, a ver. There's no mention of Ephraim Waite's passing in the obituaries for October 28th, 1915. That's strange. There's no mention of Ephraim Waits past strain. Ephraim Waits, a prominent figure and well-known philanthropist from Arkham, passed away. A prominent figure. I wonder what he actually did for a living. I don't know how to I need more information on Ephraim Waits. What do you want to know? Este. What was his occupation? Look, young man. I heard things about him back in the day. I heard he spent his life engrossed in his business interests. He came from a wealthy Innsmouth family, but odd rumors about him abounded. 
What kinds of rumors? Rumors that he hosted some rather bizarre gatherings. Not the type suitable for God-fearing folk. Back then, I was quite the hotsy totsy <laughs> <laughs> And a mutual acquaintance invited me to one of his parties. But naturally, I turned down the offer. That being said, I saw him in a completely new light when he funded the restoration of the Christ Church in grounds back in 1913. I see. Uh, ¿Cuál era su oficio? ¿Cómo se llama su hija? Okay. Let's talk about. I need. What do? I'll come back. What? See you, you too, sir. No, eso ya lo sabemos. Esto. There's an article about Mr. Wait here. Philanthropy never dies. Arkham Tycoon finances renovation of ancient Christchurch cemetery. The article has a photo of him. Could come in handy. Logrado. What do you? ¿Cuál era su oficio? No. Let's talk about. Aquí está. I've never been to the Christchurch Cemetery. What? I have never been to the Christchurch Cemetery. Why are you yelling so much? You can find it in the southeast section of the city. It's an ancient place. Since the renovation, it has lost much of its charm. But at least now, there's not as much risk of taking a brick to the head or being swallowed up by the earth. Is Mr. Wait buried there? Most likely. He renovated it after all. But let me go check the records. Yeah, al menos esta vez no tuve que esperar. Well, this is strange. There are no burial records concerning Mr. Wait. This is very odd indeed. I wonder where he ended up. I should probably take a look for myself at this cemetery Wait cared for so deeply. Muy bien, se desbloquea el cementerio. Uf. Marco Singalo. After all, it's always the others who die. I don't like messing around with graves. It's disrespectful. Excuse me, madam. Hello, young man. May I ask you what you're doing here? I'm here to visit my husband, Sonny. Not much else for me to do with what's left of my life but drag my old bones out here and have a chat with him. I see. Please excuse me for having bothered you. Not at all. It's always nice to chat with someone who can chat back. Hola, we're drinking. Thank you, young. It says, Enea Barbetta. In Girum imus nocte et consumimur igne. I don't have time to dig up corpses. Tiene que ser la lápida más grande. Man. It says H. Phoenix, haunted by his parents. Exhuming a random body makes no sense. It says Martin Prediger, alia yacta esta. Why do I have this overwhelming desire to dig? There seems to be no trace of Ephraim's grave. Hello. Greetings. A ver. What do you do around here? I'm checking on the dead. You wouldn't want them running around loose, right? Could you tell me anything about the church? I'm not very religious. Let me tell you, I deal with corpses every day, but that place makes even me shudder. Anything else you can tell me about the church? No, that place gives me the chills. I don't want to talk about it. Where does the forest path lead? I don't know. I never go there. Who the weon? Someone got lost in there and never came back. Good day. Be seeing you. Given my job, I don't usually say that out loud. <laughs> It says TK. 
Notre vie est un voyage dans les verres et dans les nuits. Strange force urges me to read tunes. It says Ricardo Bel be careful he wanted. Strange force urges me to read tunes. It says, Edward Derby, son and poet. Your spirit will always be by our side. I don't like messing around with graves. Edward Derby, no es el que murió. It says, Alphabet. Not bad for my first time. It didn't hurt. I don't like messing around with There seems to be no trace of Ephraim's grave. Harmonic 79. What the hell kind of name is this? <laughs> it says, How dare you? I created you and I can destroy you. Disturbing. I don't have time to dig up. Ixitus est Marcus Novatorum. Sit me strange force. Pero son como frase, bueno, depende, hay, hay de todo, pero por ejemplo, el que ponía Alea y Acta es, es, es la frase de Julio César. Cuando cruzó el, el río, ¿cierto? Sí. Es una frase, sí. Eh, yo creo que... No, 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 no. Para. Supongo que tengo que ir a la iglesia. Es firmly attached to the bench. It has seven engraved on it. It has seven engraved. Todas tienen siete grados. It has five engraved on. It has three dash one engraved on it. A ver, inspecciona. For such a minor place of worship, it sure does have exquisite carvings. Wait spared no expense on the restoration budget. As a child, I was very much a believer. Now, not so much. As a child, I... It says, Here lies Pontus Leonge. Great fool, strange force. She looks very. Tengo la foto, tengo la pala. Pero tengo que pillar la tumba. Mm. strange symbols montaña viento agua estrella no Regle la mano izquierda cuando estamos en un laberinto. Bueno, siempre que el laberinto tenga sentido, así que... A ver, vamos a preguntarle al vigilante si sabe algo. It says H Phoenix. It would serve no purpose. Mm. It would serve no purpose. It 
could serve no purpose. Necesito encontrar la tumba, weón. Regla de la mano derecha ahora. O sea, va a ser en alguna... Tengo que seguir un camino intermedio. A la mano izquierda encuentro... Vamos a seguir derecho la primera y de ahí vamos a aplicar regla a la mano derecha o regla a la mano izquierda. Eso vamos a hacer. Regla a la mano izquierda. Pasando a la central. Bueno, eso solo tiene sentido si es que el laberinto es como un laberinto físico. Estábamos con regla de la mano izquierda, sí. Ahora, esto está más acá. Panel set in the grounds. Hmm. Vamos a tener que vagar un poco. No sé si es el mismo panel que antes. Me parece que no. Building. It seems almost like the entrance to some temple, buried. I don't think I will be able to open it. I imagine it would be hard even with. It would serve no. Okay, aquí encontré la entrada, pero tengo que activar los dos paneles. Mm. Tengo que encontrar cómo activar esos paneles. It has 3 1 engraved on it. It has 7 engraved. It has 7 engraved on it. Has four engraved on it. Tres, uno, cuatro, siete, siete, bien. It has five engraved on it. Cinco. It has three dash one engraved on it. Tres. Creo que es uno, eso es lo que dijo. It has 3 1 engraved on it. For such a minor place of worship, wait, spared no. As a child. Hmm. No encuentro una conexión. Sabemos que a mano izquierda completa hay un panel. Un panel. 
eh, sabemos que si paso de, al centro y luego mano izquierda hay otro panel y el contra el resto no me acuerdo tenía que ir como por centro para encontrar la entrada vamos a ir al manicomio siento que me están faltando piezas para meterme aquí What the hell is going on? Leave me alone. The sea. The sea calls me. Come on, back to his room with him. Hey, don't hurt him. Mind your business. Help! The sea! Hey! Excuse me, sir. What? You treat all your patients this way? Everyone is well cared for here. Patients try to break out now and then. Yeah, right. Name's Long Carter. I'm expected. Let me just look you up. Ah, here you are. You are cleared to enter. Who was that man? Oh, he's always trying to get out. I heard he's from Innsmouth. Always raving about getting back to the sea. There's no sea around here. I guess in his mind, he's still in that godforsaken town. Innsmouth, you say? What do you know about Innsmouth? I know my brother-in-law lost his job for refusing to make deliveries there, and he was a hard worker. Now, he and my sister can't even make ends meet, what with their three children and all. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks a lot. Good job. I hope everything turns out okay for your brother-in-law. A ver. Salida, bueno, no. Obviamente vamos acá. Good morning. Lone Carter? Yes. How'd you know who I am? William's description was accurate to the letter. I see. <laughs> My William has a great gift for descriptive <laughs> writing. Even way before I met him, I already felt I loved him. His stories are splendid. They deserve better than to appear in those cheap tabloids. I'm here to see someone, Rose. It's a matter of some urgency. Sure. You will find Upton in the last room in the corridor to your left. We can't allow you into the room, though. Please speak to him through the vault hole. He can become quite violent. Tell me about Upton. There's not much to say. He pleaded insanity after the murder, and for good reason. He spent all his time since then babbling and drawing odd symbols. Like this Dibujos. One. Thanks, Rose. Anything else? I can tell you that he has a wife and daughter, but they've never come to visit him. William has visited him before, but not even he stops by much lately. Anyway, he speaks only in groans. He eats little. I don't know how to help you any further, Lone. Thanks all the same, Rose. The same symbol that was drawn on the victim's door, just like William told me. You remember? I don't know how to help. He speaks only in mutes. Tell me about the man they dragged away. All I know is that he came from Innsmouth and has been incarcerated since before I worked here. He always tries to escape. I've noticed. But he couldn't be on the loose. He can be very very aggressive his walks are always overseen by maximum security guards but all too often they end up as you saw here today thanks rose tell me about the other patients there is little to say lone once you get used to the hellish moans it's a pretty quiet job these poor people probably don't even know where they are as much as we can our duty is to try to give them a dignified life yeah right what that sounds right, I said. That sounds about right. Nah. Later, Rose. Bye, Lone. Give my regards to William when you see him. Sure. Hello there. Yes? Hey, are you alright? Did they hurt you? They can't hurt me. <laughs> Not feel pain. The sea cures all. Oh, you're from Innsmouth, right? Innsmouth, yes. Innsmouth. Under Innsmouth. El mar, the debajo sea, de Innsmouth. The reef. La, las cuevas. La herinta cuevas. I must get back there. Help me, help me, please. I doubt he'll be of much use to me. Ah. 
the cell appears to be empty. It says uniforms. Loan, please don't open it. That's staff access only. I don't want to open it and get in trouble. Aquí está Daniel Upton. Efectivamente. What a fright. Daniel Upton. Está claro que hablar no va a ser la mejor forma que interactuar. I read about you. Did you kill that man? What was his name? Slow down. Take a deep breath. That won't serve. It would serve no purpose. Edward Derby, ¿viste? Wait, what did you just say? Did you just say Edward Derby? The dead to be done. The dead to be done. He is not in that grave. He was just a container. Edward Derby. This has got to be the name of the guy up to murdered. The same name was on a grave at the cemetery, the one restored by Ephraim. Viste? Not his grave. It had to be done. What does that mean? Under cover of night, I will go have a look. I'll need some help with all this, though. I could recruit William. He seems to be the type to appreciate a good exhumation. Viste? Edward Derby, in the fondo, Ephraim Wayne, de haber sido. Hay una relación ahí entre los dos. No es el mismo. No es la misma persona. Vamos a ir a reclutar a Blanco. Nuestro querido William Blanco. It seems you know the nurse at the asylum quite well. Yes, we have a bit of a history. She found me slightly unforgettable. She told me to give you her best wishes. And I gladly accept them. Quite the woman, that Rose. What happened to Upton? As I told you, I didn't... All I know is that he went mad. I don't know who that friend was. He is now locked up. You know of an Edward Derby by any chance? No. Never heard of him. It's the name of the guy Upton killed. How did you find this out? Upton told me. You managed to make him talk? But how? I showed him a photo of Ephraim. Interesting. Upton Victor? said he was just a vessel. And what he did had to be done. I think there's a connection. I found Derby's grave at the cemetery. I might need some help tonight. Count me in, Lone. Do you have the necessary tools? I have a tool, but the tomb is covered by a marble slab. Don't worry. I can bring a crowbar. Perfect. Tonight, then. Let's meet up right there. Cortito. ¿Cuál era? I don't have time to dig up corpses. Strange force. It says H Phoenix. It says Martin Predator. Oh yeah, yeah. It says Edward Derby, son and poet. The spirit will always be by our side. This is the grave of. I should return later. I'll need some help with all. He seems to be the. Voy a tener que volver después al amparo de la noche. Eh, pero cómo hago pasar el tiempo.
I got nothing to add. I can't think of anything else I have to do today. Maybe I should just go lie down and wait for nightfall. I'd better rest up a little before meeting Blanco at the cemetery. Así hacía correr el tiempo. I've already gotten the list. Vamos al cementerio a ver qué pasa. Uh. It's not open at night. Uh. Lone, over here. Evening, William. Got the shovel on you? Sure. Let's get to work. Es por acá, sígueme. O sea, Efraín, Efraín Wayne, que tenía un seudónimo o se hizo pasar o se dio a conocer como Edward Derby. Y ahí fue donde Daniel Upton lo mató. This is quite the chore. We're almost there. Yeah, what a stench. Lone, look, he has something in his hands. Daniel was right. It can't be Ephraim. Ooh, tiene una llave. <laughs> he has a damn firm grip for such an old fella. Help me, William. One, two, three. It looks like some sort of key, but to fit what kind of lock? We gotta put everything back as it was before we get caught. We'll figure the key out later. The last thing I want is to end up in the newspaper as a grave robber. Well, actually, to tell you the truth, that would give my stories a huge boost in readership. Jeez, William, stop kidding around. <laughs> Done. The sun's coming up. The groundskeeper will be here soon. Lone. Shh. I hear someone coming. Yeah, I do too. Shit. Split up. Let's meet up later at my place. See you later, Lone. And good luck. Logro desbloqueado. Half the world twice the effect. The sun was already rising high when Lone arrived back home after the horrible night before. The magnitude of the meaning of the night's events eluded him. Innsmouth, Ephraim, and Upton. The tomb of Derby and the weird object found. All looked like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle to which he'd thrown away the complete box art. He fell asleep almost immediately with these thoughts whirling in his head. I've never felt this depth of sorrow in all my life. When father passed, well, everything changed. My mother, our poverty. Father and I shared little common ground. Perhaps we merely lacked the time to find it. But now, now that this has come about, a frightful tightness grips my chest. Simple respiration has become a labor. Vital oxygen seems to have lost the route on its way to my lungs. If only he were still here with me, to enlighten me, to offer guidance. Oh, grandfather. Oh, my grandfather. Howard, aren't you done yet? <laughs> I'll be right over. It falls upon me to preserve the items of my grandfather's estate that are the most crucial. Howard. Howard. 
Uy. No es Edward Derby. Tiene que ser el hijo de... Ay, no lo tengo tan claro. My memory is filled to the brink with the tales of my grandfather's travels. It was always as if they vaporated directly into my imagination. Snowbound rainforests infested with every manner of danger. Splendid cities where the meek are preyed upon by the scum of humanity, lurking assassins and thieves. Such places appeared vividly in my dreams. Airborne monstrosities surged toward my person, borne aloft on the membranes of bat-like wings. Their long and gnarled talons clutching at me. They had no faces. Upon a command, I could steer them as I wished. Let's see. This globe has buttons set in many specific locales around the world. I have a vivid childhood recollection of grandfather pressing them to open an odd concealed mechanism, but his fingers moved too fast for my young eyes to catch. Perhaps an undiscovered clue awaits me elsewhere. Pero ahí no tengo cómo. I do not wish to turn it off. How grandfather loved to fill my mind with stories from the thousand and one nights. I would sit astride his knee before the fireplace as he read. Entonces, claro, este es el nieto de Edward Wayne. Stove, and the magic of those moments decreased forever. Tienes... Tiene que ser el hijo de Asenat, que era... Claro, la, la hija de... A ver... Varios treatises sobre la psicología. Me siento no más... Volumes concerning art and painting. Travel chronicles and general geography. Varios medical textos. Generic novels of low regard. A section of grandfather's library devote... Treatises on anthropology. Terrible storm is with such a downpour ensuing outside. No, no, we can't open it. Grandfather's trunk. Open it. Locked. Stories by Poe and Machen. My current mood is not. Yeah. Okay. Acá puede que haya algo. I will obtain one for now. One never knows. My writing muse escapes my grasp for now. I don't want to open. I don't. Showcase brimming with. I'm not done yet with this chore. Algo más me falta. I do not wish. I feel no mo the opportune moment to peruse the Not now. All things considered. No mere work of fiction could these are far beyond me. These perk my interest. I shall peruse them at a later date. My current mood is not My writing muse is Let's see. That would achieve little. That would achieve with such a downpour ensuing outside. ¿Qué me está faltando? I do not wish. Do not wish. My current mood is. That would achieve. 
that would achieve little. Locked. Y algo que se me está escapando aquí. Ah, el retrato. Eso es. A portrait of my mother as a young woman. How beautiful she was that her eyes shine. Transmitting the serenity in her This would have been back from before I was even conceived. Let me see. There seems to be something inscribed on the back. I should discover some method to disengage it from the frame. I feel no desire to lug the picture, frame it. Aha! This means should provoke the intended ends. Pen has been rendered utterly useless. Howard, there's nothing worth anything in there. It seems to point to something, but what? Dos. Como los cuadrados son iguales a dos. On the underside of the canvas lurks an enigma. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. A ver. Tal vez de hecho es al revés. Dos cuadrados, dos cuadrados, let's see. Hmm. Asumo que hay uno ahí. Let's see. Ah. No, no lo estoy entendiendo mal. Esos cuadraditos son iguales a dos. En un cuadrado. Podría ser dos encerrado. Dos por cuatro, quizá. Dos. Mm. Let's see. ¿Será que sean dos atrapados? No creo. No, es que tiene que haber otra pista más, weón. Bueno. Ah, ok. Ya, pero eso no es una sección de enigmas. Eso parece como la... Creo que lo obtuve. Durante el verano de su vida, estaba constantemente viajando. ¿Quién sabe cómo muchos locales far flung locales? Quizás yo, yo mismo, podría... 
a journal of my grandfather detailing his innumerable travels. Let's see. We left at the first light of dawn. We had the automaton with us. Automaton? Automata? We all met in the basement on the outskirts Boston. of Boston. It was almost like entering a church long since deserted. Planted all around a pentacle painted upon the grimy flagstones were candles. Wax frozen in mid-drip. There was no point wasting time here. No answers lay here. And Paris was at least a week away. Our final destination within the vastness of the Arabian desert lay even Arabia. further ahead. We had to make a move. There was no option but for the automaton to perform the ceremony. Just looking at it sent a shiver up my tired spine. And then it just stops right there. The journal was penned about 15 years ago. Mayhap this was all merely an outline for a fictional work. A work of vivid imagination. I believe I have already understood the meaning. I believe I have already understood the portrait of my mother upon the back. Solved. Let's see. A ver. Vamos a descliquearlo todo. Boston. París. Y Arabia Saudita. Eso era. Has slid open at the base. There is a key ensconced within. Eso era, nos faltaba. Eso era lo que nos faltaba. Eso no tenía sentido por sí solo. It fits. The trunk is now open. Howard, are you even still there? A multitude of books. Without a single exception, they are all very old editions. A selection thereof consisting of the rarer of occult treatises, the need for which escapes me. Wait, that's a rare and ancient printing of a book I favor greatly. I must procure it. Howard, hurry up! A very old edition of the Thousand and One Nights. I can't wait to read it. I've always had a soft spot for these stories. The Merchant and the Genie. Wonderful. Prince Camaralzaman. So many memories. A bookmark holds the place of a story I've never heard of. The tale of Abdul al -Hazim. Abdul al Sared, el que escribió el Necronomicon. The keepers sought to ensnare one of their own. Poor Abdul needed to choose, and choose wisely. Eat. Such a vivid dream. What does it mean? Loan. I'm coming, William. Loan. Loan. Great news! Great news! William, slow down. What's happening? Wilmarth got back to me. We have to go to Vermont and find some guy by the name of Ackley. Ackley. From what I've learned, he may prove useful to us. It appears he may be quite the eccentric fellow. He lives like a hermit. No mail can get through and, needless to say, he has no telephone. He could help us understand your condition better and perhaps cure it. Listo. Who is this Ackley? A former Miskatonic professor of anthropology. Apparently, he left the teaching profession due to personal reasons. He seems to be something of a strange character. Going by what Wilmarth told me, he may have a dependence on certain substances. Okay. How will we get there? I have an automobile. Don't worry. An automobile? Really? I've never ridden in one. I can't wait to give it a try. What about what we found last night? We can figure all that out after we get back. I'm curious as well, but this is much more important. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Ha ha ha! An automobile. 
Y ahí vamos a ver a Akele, que es contacto del profesor Wilmar, que se supone nos puede ayudar a entender qué nos está pasando. Que a, al protagonista, a Lone, como que es lo que menos le afecta a esa wea. La verdad está tratando de entender qué pasa con el tema de Efraín Wayne y Daniel Upton. ¿Qué pasó ahí que, con el asesinato de Edward Derby? ¿Qué significa finalmente? Eh, lo que sí, compañeros, esto lo vamos a dejar hasta aquí. Espero les esté gustando. Voy a dejar aquí uno de seguridad. Y nos vemos próximamente. Cuídense. Adiós.